Hi guys. Previously on my Nilu Super Bloom Team Comps comparison video, the result was something like this. For single target scenario, Xingchu Yao Yao Al Haitham variant sits on top of the leaderboard, followed closely by Kokomi Nahida DMC variant. This is because both Al Haitham and Kokomi deals decent personal damage to help beat the boss faster. But for multi target scenario, Nahida Xingchu Yao Yao variant beats everyone else by a large margin. Now in this part 2 video, I want to showcase more Nilu team comps involving Baiju and or Kave to see where they're positioned in this chart. And also I want to showcase a surprise variant at the end of the video. To start, let's take a look at this first team comp. With Nilu, Nahida, Xingchu, and Baiju, you can choose either Nilu, Nahida, or Baiju as the on-field main DPS. Now to find out who can clear the fastest, let me show you how they perform one by one starting with Baiju as the on-field main DPS. With Baiju as the main DPS, the rotation should start with Nilu's elemental skill, followed by Nahida's elemental skill and burst, then Xingqiu's elemental skill and burst, then Baiju's normal attack, skill normal attack, burst, and then spam normal attacks. As you can see, this team clears a single target boss in just 22.5 seconds. Although it's not the best, but it's still great. Now let's check out their performance against multi-target scenario. This team destroys all those monsters in just 16.6 seconds, which brings them to the top of the chart, together with the Nahida Xingqiu Yao Yao variant. The difference is that Baiju's heal is much more consistent and follows your active character, unlike Yao Yao where you have to be near her bunny or else you don't get healed. Yao Yao also needs to stay on field for a few seconds to heal the entire party, while Baiju can heal the whole party with just one tap of a button. Now let's check out how good this team performs with Nahida as the on-field main DPS. The rotation should start with Nilu's elemental skill, followed by Nahida's elemental skill and burst, then Xingqiu's elemental skill and burst, then Baiju's elemental skill and burst, then go back to Nahida to do normal attacks and elemental skills. With Nahida as the on-field main DPS, this team clears the single target boss in 24.3 seconds, or almost 2 seconds slower than with Baiju as the main DPS. Now let's see her performance in multi-target scenario. That's another 16.6 seconds, which brings them on top with the two other variants. Now let's find out if Nilu can be used as a main DPS instead of Baiju or Nahida. But to make Nilu work as a main DPS, you need to equip her with a sacrificial sword so that she can do her elemental skill twice in a single rotation. The rotation should start with Nahida's elemental skill and burst, followed by Xingqiu's elemental skill and burst, then Baiju's elemental skill and burst, then Nilu's elemental skill and normal attack for 10 seconds. Then cast her elemental skill again for another round of normal attacks. As you can see, Nilu's performance is not bad at all, with 22.5 seconds to clear the single target boss here. Now let's see if she can do the same in multi-target scenario. The rotation is a bit unique here. She starts by casting her elemental skill first, then do the elemental attacks later thanks to her sacrificial sword. But even then, her performance against multi-target scenario is not that great with over 4 seconds slower than the other two main DPS we saw earlier. So for this team comp, it is best to use Baiju as the main DPS instead. 
Now, if you noticed in this showcase, Baiju is using full EM main stats instead of full HP. This is because with full EM, Baiju can perform around 2-3 to three seconds faster against the same opponents. But in real scenario, like the Abyss Floor 12, the difference is very minimal. Let me show you side-by-side -side comparison between full EM Baiju on the left and full HP Baiju on the right. Well, actually, the full HP Baiju even cleared the Abyss one frame faster than the full EM. So for real-world scenario, it's better to give Baiju the normal full HP stats instead of full EM. Although for showcase, full EM Baiju always yields faster results. Don't ask me why, I'm still puzzled by that too. Now let's move on to the next Nilu team comp I want to showcase. It's the Kave Shingchu Nahida variant with Kave as the main DPS. Kava is an energy-hungry character because his Dendro application mainly comes from his 80 energy burst. So it's wise to just equip him with an ER Sands and an ER Weapon. The rotation should start with Nilu's elemental skill followed by Nahida's elemental skill and burst, then Xing Chu's elemental skill and burst, and then Kave's elemental skill and burst, and spam normal attacks and skills. Kava can clear this boss in a decent 22 and a half seconds. Now let's see his performance against multiple targets. He cleared this domain with just under 20 seconds, which is very good. But the whole party suffered because this team doesn't have a healer. Is this team viable though in Abyss? Let's find out. As you can see, this team provides challenge to whoever wants it, because now your skill is being tested. As for me, I don't have any, so my Xing Chu died there. But with a one minute clear, it's a very good team. Now what if we bring Baiju instead of Nahida for survivability? How bad is this team gonna be without Nahida? Let's find out. The rotation should start with Nilu's elemental skill followed by Baiju's elemental skill and burst, then Xing Chu's elemental skill and burst, then Kava's elemental skill and burst, and spam normal attacks and skills. This time, Kave couldn't clear the boss within one rotation, so they needed to do an extra rotation which inflated their clear time to 38.7 seconds. 
Now let's check out their performance in the multi-target scenario. Kaba and Baiju surprisingly performed really good in multi-target scenario with 19.4 seconds or just below the best performers there. So if you have Kaveh, you can go without Baiju for more challenge but better DPS, or you can go with Baiju for better survivability, but less DPS, especially on single target scenario. My Kaveh is C0, by the way. Now let's move on to the next team comp, which is the double healer Kokomi Nahida Baiju variant. This team is eternal. You can't die in this team. So the rotation should start with Kokomi's Jellyfish followed by Nilu's Elemental Skill, then Nahida's Elemental Skill and Burst, Baiju's Elemental Skill and Burst, then quickly swap to Kokomi's Elemental Burst to refresh her Jellyfish. In this team, it's very important to mark the enemies with Nahida's Elemental Skill, which you'll see in the multi-target scenario after this. This double healer team clears the single target scenario in just 21.7 seconds, which is one second slower than the DMC variant. Now let's find out if this team performs better in the multi-target scenario. Turns out this team performs so much better than the DMC variant, with over 2 seconds faster in the multi-target scenario. This team is also very safe to use thanks to the double healer in the team. Now let's check out this Baiju Xingchu Alhaitham, with Alhaitham as the main DPS. Previously with Yao Yao instead of Baiju, this team sits on top of the chart for single target scenario. Can Baiju beat Yao Yao through this time? Let's find out. The rotation starts with Nilu's Elemental Skill, followed by Baiju's Elemental Burst and Skill, then Xing Chu's Elemental Skill and Burst, and finally Alhaitham with Elemental Burst, Normal Attacks, Elemental Skill, and Charge Attack as needed. This team turns out to be 1.7 seconds slower than with Yao Yao. But this is understandable because with Yao Yao, she didn't cast her burst to heal the party during the showcase, and that shaved two seconds off on field time compared to Baiju's. In a real abyss scenario though, Yao Yao would need to cast her burst and do the run and jump ritual to heal the party, and that would take much longer than Baiju's burst animation. So you should take that into consideration when choosing Yao Yao over Baiju. Now let's take a look at how they perform against multi-target scenario. As you can see, this team cleared the domain in 19.5 seconds, which is slightly faster compared to Yao Yao variant. Now let me show you the surprise team comp that I promised earlier. This is Klee the Pyro Nilu team comp. Yes, Klee is actually a Pyro Nilu now. With full EM and the help of Nahida's and Baiju's buffs and healing, Klee can actually outclass many of Nilu's Superbloom team comps you've seen so far. Let's take a look at her performance against this boss. The rotation starts with Nahida's elemental skill and burst, followed by Baiju's elemental skill and burst, then Xing Chu's elemental skill and burst, then Klee with normal attacks only. Yes, you don't need to do anything than normal attacks, and she'll destroy enemies in no time. As you can see, she destroyed the robot in just over 20 seconds, comfortably being second fastest among Nilu's Super Bloom team comp. And being a pyro, she can overcome Nilu's Super Bloom team weakness, which is the cryo shielded enemies. Now let's take a look at her performance in multi target scenario. As you can see, she cleared the domain in just 19 and a half seconds, also sits in a respectable fourth position among Nilu's Super Bloom team comps. 
With the ability to melt cryo shields, she is unstoppable against all kinds of enemies. You can also replace Xing Chu with Yelan if you need to shoot flying monsters. Isn't this team amazing? With full elemental mastery build, I wonder if Hoyoverse would give us a new Klee outfit sometime soon that would match her new matured role as a little magician, since she's the daughter of a great mage after all. I'm amazed how Hoyoverse had already designed Klee this far back, since version 1.0, to work with Dendro much later on with her pyro throwing attacks that can trigger the Dendro cores on the ground. So I believe Dendro reactions were already on their blueprint since version 1. I think that's all guys, if you like this video please like and share it to your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for your supports and I'll see you soon in my next video.